So um, I want to talk to you about following up today. We, um, you know, I go to a lot of networking events, as most people do in the industry, especially small business owners. That's how you stay connected. And every business um, networking event, I collect business cards or I hand out my business cards or both. And um, as soon as I get home, what I try to do is send out a quick email to the people I just met, thanking them for the time they took to chat with me and uh, to just reiterate my interest in getting to know them more. Then my next step is taking that big old stack of business cards that I have right here and putting them in my contacts. That way, if they do reach out to me, I know exactly who it is and they don't have to explain because, you know, sometimes we forget. But um, I, I think there's a big importance in that immediate follow-up after you meet a person to reiterate your interest in getting to know them better or possibly working with them or hiring them or booking them as a client. Uh, uh, Follow-up really just does keep you on top of mind of these people that you met at a networking event. And if you don't follow up, what's the use of going to a networking event, really? I mean, just to say hi, people see your face? No, you need to make those connections and follow up is a key part of that. Another time that you would follow up if you worked on an event, like if you're an event planner like me or a photographer or something or anything, stationary, floors. I'm a big believer not only in following up with my client, I mean, that's a whole different discussion, but following up with the vendors, vendor partners I worked with, especially the people that I thought, man, they were great to work with. I really want people to know how much I enjoyed working with them. That's number one. Number two, how much I would love to work with them again. So um, let's try to do this, you know, partner up again. But three, uh, let's talk about what the next steps are going to be after this event. What's going to happen next? Especially if you're the event planner because you're basically the orchestra conductor and you want to make sure that everybody knows what what the next steps are after the event as in addition to everything you've shared before the event. It's so key and it's so important and it really does carry on that experience for your vendor partners clear after the day is the um, event or the wedding day or whatever is over. Another uh, follow-up that I'm big on are consultations. I believe that if I meet with a client, corporate, wedding, anything, that you should be following up pretty quickly. I don't care if you thought the consultation was a flop or if you know you're not going to work with them, you should at least just thank them for their time. I mean, you know, all of our time is valuable and you want to make sure that they know you appreciated the time they took out. Even if it doesn't work out, that could result in a referral for you. Or that can result in something better coming along. So always follow up. Just to say thank you or how much you enjoyed working with them, um, speaking with them, or how you would like to take this to the next step. It might be a great separator between you and your competition. You never know. Uh, And the last thing um, as as far as follow-up is concerned, I keep what us OGs call a tickler file, which is like... uh, information that I check each month. Now it's electronic for the most part, and it's in a CRM. And the reason I mention that is I my follow-up now includes ch- checking in with my clients and vendor partners who I know for their birthdays, their anniversaries, um, things that are happening in their life, uh, reminding, letting them know, hey, This time last year, we were doing this great blah, blah, blah. I sure would love to connect with you again. I have great memories from that. Follow-up can be so key in your relationship building. So um, take full advantage of it. It's a small thing that could have a big impact. Not just to say thank you. It's to say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Hey, I would love to work with you again. Even if the, an event didn't go well, hey, I just want to let you know that I know things didn't go as wonderful as we'd love it, but I can't wait till the next time we work together so I can knock your socks off and you can see how awesome I truly am. So just keep that in mind. The thought for this week, 
follow up. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what, how you follow up with uh, clients, vendors, uh, net, people you networked with, anything like that. I would love to hear it. Thank you.